Bonjour, mes amis. Hello, my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Thank you for joining Junior Elementary Art Class. Our lesson today is called One Line Here, That Shape There. Our lesson today is all about pattern. Pattern is a principle of art that artists create by repeating elements such as color, line, and shape. They do all kinds of amazing effects with pattern. This piece of art is called F. Champenois, Imprimeur Editeur. It is by Alphonse Mucha. It's a lithograph created in 1897. So what line, shape, or color is repeating in this painting. Look closely, see what patterns you can find. Some of these patterns create amazing effects that you may not think of as a pattern. Now I found one in the sleeve, a pattern of curved lines that creates the folds and makes the sleeve look like it's light and fluffy. There's another one in the flowers up above, a, a shape pattern of two different types of shapes to create those beautiful flowers you see all around her. And there's a color pattern on her dress in a sequence. See if you can find any more patterns in this piece. Here's another. This is Fate by Alphonse Mucha. It is painted with oil paints on canvas back in 1920. So what elements do you see create a pattern in this painting? The patterns aren't quite as obvious here and they do create some very interesting effects. Look at shadows and light. Look at folds. Look at how things are structured to find pattern. I found these patterns. See if you can find more. Our project today is called Pattern Animal. All right, let's get started. Start by drawing a simple geometrically shaped animal that covers most of the page. I'm drawing a bunny here. You can draw the same thing I'm drawing, or you can draw your own animal. It is up to you. Keep the shapes simple. Once you're done, from the side, mark five marks to separate the page into six even shapes. Do the same thing to mark the top, to separate the top in four even columns. This will give you a grid. Now, with your wax crayon, redraw every line that you've done. You can choose any color, warm or cool, at this point. Remember to redraw those grid lines as well. You can use a different color, just make sure it is also a warm or cool color. Now inside each area, you're gonna draw a different pattern. Now you can repeat the patterns if you'd like, but try to give it some variety. Don't cross any lines that you've drawn. So just like in my bunny's ear here, I did not continue the pattern outside of the ear. Stay inside your lines and change patterns every time you switch. You can also leave some white spaces if you'd like. There's a few places you'll see where I left some spaces without pattern. 
like the bunny's nose and eyes and front paws. Remember, all patterns are created by repeating the same lines and shapes over and over again. Once you're done putting in all of your patterns, now choose some colored pencils from your, from your colored pencils. Okay. Color in the spaces that you see. Remember to choose colors that match the same colors that you chose out of your wax crayons. So if you chose warm colors, reds, oranges, or yellows, choose reds, oranges, or yellows to color in the spaces. And remember to say inside your lines, don't just color over the whole thing. You don't want to lose your patterns. If you chose cool colors, you'll be choosing blues, greens, or purples instead. color in most of your composition, but you are allowed to leave some white spaces. Just make sure that the whole thing is evenly 
color, that there's not a bunch of white. You don't want your work to look unfinished. Once you're finished, make sure to sign your work. Thank you, my friends. Merci beaucoup, mes amis, for joining junior elementary art class this week. I hope you had fun. Yeah. Take care and enjoy yourselves, and we'll see you next week. Au revoir.